Hi, my name is Seth Alvo and I've been working in the field of car audio and mobile electronics for over eight years. I've installed everything from navigation systems to full car stereo systems, remote starters, alarms, and beyond. To learn more, visit our website at www.movingon.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my knowledge on car audio and mobile electronics. An equalizer can help improve your sound by compensating for the inconsistencies in a car. You have wind, you have road noise, and then you have the interior of the car. Grills over the speakers, improper locations of speakers. You have to deal with these whether you like them or not. For instance, if a speaker is mounted down in the door with a grill covering it, it's going to drown out some of the treble and mids. By boosting up the treble a little bit, you'll bring your sound stage up and it'll make it sound a little bit better. And you can compensate for the location of the speaker. Most car stereos come with a two-band equalizer at the very least. The two bands are bass and treble. If you get an aftermarket car stereo, chances are it's going to come with at least three bands, bass, mid, and treble. As you go to higher end stereos, you're going to have five band equalizers, 10 band equalizers, 12, and more. The higher end the car stereo, usually the more complex of an equalizer it'll have. By using these equalizers, you can compensate for all sorts of challenges in your listening environment. Some equalizers are built into complex sound processors. Sound processors will actually monitor the sound in your car with a microphone and make the adjustments automatically to compensate for your vehicle's interior. If you start at the left side of the equalizer, you have low frequencies. The right side of the equalizer is high frequencies. By adjusting a specific equalizer band, you're adjusting the prevalence of that frequency. The more you turn up the ones at the bottom, the more bass you're going to have. The more you adjust the ones at the top, the more treble you're going to have. Adding an equalizer to your car is not really as easy as it sounds. Usually it's going to involve replacing your car stereo. If you have an aftermarket car stereo, chances are you're going to have an equalizer built in. But a digital equalizer can be added with the addition of a sound processor. If you have a factory car stereo, you really can't add much of an equalizer at all, unless you start adding amplifiers and things like that. Music